There's nothing pretty about a chicken coop. It's a mass of beaks, feathers, and chicken attitude. And how it gets from here to here, eh, most people would rather not know. I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. They just want their chicken tonight. But would they want this nugget, which was grown in a lab, and even chefs have a hard time distinguishing from the real thing? Wow, great flavor. The texture's really nice. So yeah, basic food biology isn't being written on barbecues, it's in labs, and it comes with a healthy side of questions. I mean, like, is, is it genetically not chicken? What's the deal? The deal is, yes, genetically, it's chicken, minus the beaks and feathers. They start with taking cells from a living animal, then they're placed in a bath of nutrients inside a bioreactor where they multiply and grow. And then, in as little as two weeks, it comes out looking like minced meat. All that's left is to shape it so it looks like the real thing. I like the real thing, the real McCoy. So I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be interested in. It wasn't so long ago plant-based burgers were raising eyebrows. Now, they're everywhere. Cultivated meat allows people to eat meat without slaughtering animals, removing cruelty concerns. Meat created in a lab still requires energy, but less so than traditional animal agriculture methods, which involve large chunks of land and significant water use. So there's the opportunity to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, a positive for the planet. Granted, there's a learning curve here. Because the idea of 3D printed meat still might be a hard sell for some. Would I buy that? No. No? Well, let's give the industry time to develop into whatever shape it wants, apparently. Mike Drillet, Global News, Toronto.